Well, look what I came in for today. The whole floor on this side and the other side are both covered in fuel. So both sides of the fuel tanks are leaking terribly. So in case anyone thought owning an airplane was just all fun and games, um, planes tend to manufacture problems. So last night I filled up with gas in the front and rear tanks. I came in today and I have this all over the floor. My entire front tanks appear uh, to have been draining into my rear tanks. So I've had to rig up a, a drain here to drain all. Luckily I've got a hundred gallon tank to, to drain it into, but I'm having to drain the rear tanks to put into the this tank so that the front tanks can drain into the back tanks because what's been happening all night is the front tank has been draining into a full back tank. It didn't have anywhere to go and so it just spilled over into the floor. So I've got about probably half a tank of gas out of the front of both sides that has been draining into the rear tanks all night. So I came into a completely wet 100 low lead floor. So now I've got to go find the drain valve and take it out to see what in the hell is going on with the gas tanks. All right, um, so what has happened is we had a fuel leak in the airplane the other day and we spent about three hours last night draining all the fuel out of the tank and what is going on is the um, fuel selector on the left hand side is leaking and this airplane actually has the ability to pump fuel from any one of the tanks to any to either one of the engines and so what we had to do is we had to find the fuel valve so that we could see how we were going to get to them we actually lucked up and they ended up being under the first panel that we opened up so on the right hand side underneath the belly or both of the fuel selectors so we've actually we, it's not gonna be too bad to get this stuff out and now that we got the fuel drained out of it it should be a pretty simple task well not simple but not terrible to get the valve out so we can rebuild it so that is what's on the agenda for today all right so what we have here is the left fuel valve, the right fuel valve, and then we've got, if you look back here, we've got one, two, three, four um, fuel lines that are actually coming in from the tanks. And then you'll notice jumpers that go from the back fuel valve to the front fuel valve. Um, and then these center lines that are here go out to the each tank, or uh, each engine. So this one goes to your right engine. This one that comes out right here is going to the left engine. So the, what, what's happening right now is because all of these things are all interconnected, if either one of these fuel valves goes bad, then it allows fuel to leak from one tank to another. And in this case, what I think is happening is the front left tank is coming out of this fuel valve the it is leaking past the shutoff for that particular valve so when you open the left front tank it ends up leaking or coming out of there which it should but then it leaks past the two rear tanks so it and i'm assuming that it's probably these two bottom ones down here that it's leaking past so it comes into the fuel shutoff or the fuel selector leaks out these two bottom ones and ends up filling up the the rear aux tanks and so what, what was happening is, is because of gravity, it was trying to equalize. So as long as that, that front valve was open, it was leaking into these. They were trying to equalize with full tanks in the back, and it had to dump that gas somewhere. So it went out the overflow and the vent lines and ended up draining a bunch of gas out on the floor. So what we're going to be doing is there's three bolts that are holding this this. Uh, valve in 
but we've got to disconnect the, the fuel lines. We've got the tanks drained now, but we're going to be disconnecting these lines, taking the bolts out of the valve and getting it out so that we can actually take a look at it and see what it's going to take to fix it.